Here we have a region of uniform magnetic field again. Now what happens if a charged particle, let's use a positive charge Q, enters this region not perpendicular and not parallel but at an angle like so. Now there's going to be some very interesting results as, uh, because of this. So what we need to do, we need to understand that let's say my velocity uh, vector is as such and so you'll realize that if I resolve this velocity vector there will be one component of it that's called this V parallel that is parallel to the magnetic field and one more component V perpendicular that is of course perpendicular to the magnetic field. And so we have seen that V perpendicular, right, if your velocity is perpendicular to the magnetic field, that would result in a circular motion. And so just ignoring everything else for the moment, okay, if we use our Fleming's left-hand rule, second finger points to the right like the magnetic field does, third finger points uh, downwards like V perpendicular does, your thumb is going to point out of the screen. And so you're going to get a circular motion that is in a plane normal to this magnetic field. So it's going to go in and out like that. Let me try to draw that. So it's going to, well, it's actually going to come out first. So it's going to loop outwards like so. Okay, so that, that's coming out of the screen, right? And, and it's going to loop back inwards going into the screen like this. Okay, so a little bit like a circular that goes like that. However, there is this additional V parallel over here. Now we know that the parallel component of the velocity, because it's parallel to the magnetic field, doesn't change. It doesn't experience no force in this direction. And so this is a constant velocity. So you have one circular motion going out and in of this plane, and then you've got a constant velocity to the right. And so when you combine those two, you are going to get something called a helical motion. So it's a circular motion with some forward velocity helical motion. And how we study this is very simple. When we want to study the circular motion, all the things Fb equals to Fc applies. And so we can have R equals to mv perpendicular over Bq. And we also have the period which equals to 2 pi m over Bq. V parallel, right, simply means that it's traveling at a constant speed. And so one interesting result that we can get from this is something called the pitch. So the pitch is just the distance between consecutive loops. And if you are quite aware of how this works, the pitch will simply be V parallel multiplied by the time taken to complete one loop, which is none other than the period 2 pi m over Bq.